Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna make ballistics gel. So do something a little bit different. Hey, are you allowed to say ballistics on YouTube? Probably not. Uh, so you just use uh, this Knox gelatin and it is a one ounce package. Uh, you can get on Amazon and buy these uh, 16 ounce. Each one of them is 16 ounce. Uh, so what we're gonna do is it's one ounce of uh, Knox gelatin to one ounce, oh, sorry, to one cup of water. So that'll be 16 ounces of gel to uh, one gallon. So each of these plastic totes has a gallon of water in it right now. And just for fun, we're gonna try, one of them will have some hydrogen peroxide. It's just like a 3% hydrogen peroxide and I'll probably put I guess a cup or a half a cup and it's supposed to make it a little more clear so one of them will do it with the peroxide and one of them will do it without I decided to use an electric mixer here. It makes a lot more foam, but uh, it's way faster than mixing by hand. Mixing by hand was gonna take all day. Yeah, so I got most of the foam off. There are some little chunks here and there. But uh, I'm just going to throw it in the fridge and we'll see how it turns out. Okay, so this one I'm just going to mix a little slower. Try and be a little more patient. And make not as much foam, hopefully. And we'll use this, which is 16 ounces, which will make this gallon. And uh, hopefully it'll be a little easier to pour and mix at the same time and I won't get the chunks that I had on the last one. Alright, so I'm just going to add one cup.
going to be one cup of 3% hydrogen peroxide. You can see there's still a bunch of chunks in there. I might have to put it in the fridge and let it solidify and then take it back out and melt it back down again. There are a lot of chunks. So I didn't put it in the fridge first. I just poured everything that would fit into this pan and then used the mixer when it was hot or close to a boil. And then it seemed like when it was the mixture was hot, the foam goes away a lot quicker. I guess because the bubbles can pop once it's heated up. And uh, it made it a lot easier with the mixer to get rid of those chunks uh, when the liquid is hot. This is the one with the hydrogen peroxide in it. So after bringing it to like a real low boil, heating it up and then pouring it back in here and then hitting it with the, the beater and getting all the chunks mixed up, now there are no chunks. And I guess the heat got rid of some of the bubbles, thinned it out so the bubbles could come up to the surface and pop. So now this one will go in the fridge too. Okay, so it's the next morning. Uh, I don't know what time I finished this stuff yesterday, probably five in the afternoon or something. So uh, I'd say put it in the fridge for eight hours, 12 hours. And this is what we've got. So this is the one that I did not heat up after mixing it and then mix it more. So you can see the little chunks and it's kind of got the froth on the top of it. And it's that amber color but you can see that the density is pretty thick. So this one, I did boil it. So reheated it and continued to mix while it was reheated. So it doesn't have all of those chunks on the top like this one does. And also it has one cup per gallon of the 3% hydrogen peroxide. So you can see it's a lot lighter, a lot more clear. So now I'm gonna try and get it out of these Tupperware bins. I don't know how that's gonna work, so let's see. Oh, so you can just kind of bend the Tupperware and peel it off the edges. And it's starting to come out. And there you go, a big block of ballistics gel. So this was where the foam was, and I guess it's made like a, a little film around the edge where the foam was and then all the bubbles popped. So really this one's not too bad anyway, as long as you put it like bubble side down, then you can do what you want. But apparently the foam kind of peels off of it. So basically you want to mix it like we were mixing yesterday. And then to get all of this out, the foam and the little chunks, you can heat it up or probably just use hot water to start with. But uh, it seems like if you use hot water, it'll mix all these chunks in a lot better. And it'll turn out like this, which is way more clear. 
and no chunks. Yeah, so that's it for making ballistics gel. So next video, I guess we'll shoot it with something, but I guess we can't shoot it with guns because it's YouTube. So maybe a crossbow. We'll try a crossbow. All right, thanks for watching the video.